Hey guys, Yasil here, back with another China Mail video. And these are some of the items that I've received over the last week or two. Starting with the LEDs, I've purchased a few 1 watt, 3 watt, and 10 watt LEDs. Um, all of these are cool white in color, and their respective fold voltages are 3 volts, 3.6 volts, and 9 volts. Um, I do recommend that if you are going to purchase some of these, that you uh, use them with a with a heat sink uh, because these tend to heat up quite a bit. Here I have a breadboard power supply um, which is really useful. Um, it can supply either 5 or 3.3 volts on either end. Um, it fits into a breadboard really easily um, and can be powered either using a DC jack or a USB mini. Um, I did experience experience um, some heating issues when I did use the USB mini, however it worked fine uh, using a DC jack. This is a TDA2030A, um, it's a mono 18 watt amp. Uh, it's ideal for any projects or Bluetooth speaker builds that you want to use a single speaker. Um, I, it takes in an input voltage between 6 and 12 volts. I've ordered two of these amps and tested one. Um, and it packs quite a punch for a little amp. Um, it's worth noting that it has a little trim pot on the on the amp itself, so you can adjust the gain for volume, um, and it, it works really well. Here I have a 5 volt relay um, that's on a convenient PCB uh, that has the signal pin, the ground, and input uh, voltage, um, as well as the uh, normally opened the common and normally closed uh, terminals on the side. Uh, these are great for working with any Arduino or ESP8266 projects. Um, I've used a similar relay on a Internet of Things switch that I built. Um, I will do a review of this at some later stage. Um, but these are great. I bought five of these single channel relays. Um, but if you're looking at switching AC loads, I recommend getting a two channel relay. Uh, because ideally you'd like to switch live and neutral at the same time. If you're looking at working on any battery operated projects, I strongly recommend getting some of these 18650 lithium ion batteries. Uh, now these batteries are rated at uh, 3.7 volts and this battery apparently has a capacity of 4200 milliamp hours. Uh, I still have to test these as there are many fake uh, versions of these batteries online. Um, I'm not entirely sure this will give me 4,200 milliamp hours, but I have to test that to be sure. Um, the great thing about these batteries are they're very commonly available and you can harvest some of them from old laptop batteries. Here I have a PAM8403 dual 3 watt amp. Uh, now this little chip can be powered up with a 5 volt power supply. Um, and I've tested one of these chips and, and they work really well. Um, the price listed here, uh, $1.95, is actually uh, what I paid for 10 of these chips. Um, so these are really cheap and ideal for any small Bluetooth speaker builds. Okay guys, that's it for this installment of China Mail. Thanks for watching. I've left the AliExpress uh, seller listings in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching. Forgive me for any mistakes. Um, until next time. Thanks.